Welcome to the HL7 Definition and Purpose Lecture. The formal definition of HL7 that you will need to know for your certification test is HL7 is a standard series of predefined logical formats for packaging healthcare data in the form of messages to be transmitted among computer systems. What HL7 really does is provide a way for all of the different computer systems to send data from one to another using the same message format. It's how the hospital information system communicates with the lab information system and the radiology information system. There are five types of specific radiology messages. They are ADT, that's Admission, Discharge, and Transfer Messages. ORM, these are order messages for imaging exams. ORU, these are the results of those imaging exams in a message format. ORR, these are order-filled response messages that let nurses know that those orders have been completed. And then general acknowledgement messages, or ACTS. These let the sending system know that the receiving system has received and processed the message. All HL7 messages are composed of segments. Segments are like paragraphs in a letter. They contain all the information about a single topic. Just as message types have three letter codes to identify them, so do the message segments. The first segment is always the message header. It's abbreviated MSH. In its ninth field, it will tell you what the message type is. So let's look at one. Notice that the message segment ID is in bold. So you see MSH in bold. That's the message header segment. You see EVN. That's the event segment. You see PID. It's the patient ID segment. Here you'd find patient name, MRN, and other information related to identifying the patient. PV1 is the patient visit segment. Here you would find information related to the visit, like the patient's doctor who ordered the test, what the, uh, whether the patient is an inpatient or outpatient. So if we look at MSH9, it shows us that this type of message is an ADT. Common message segments IDs are the message header. It's always the first segment and it contains information about the actual message. Patient ID contains all the information about the patient. PV1 is all the patient visit information. It would contain things like the count number, inpatient, outpatient, location for the patient. Notice that it has PV1. Sometimes you can't get all the information into one segment and so they're numbered sequentially. So if there was another patient visit segment, it would be PV2. Next comes the ORC. That's the order common information. It contains tests of, contains information about the test, who entered it, the time the test is to be done, things like that. Then you have the OBR. This contains information about the test, such as patient transport, transport mode, the test is actually to be done, the reason for the test, and any relevant clinical information. So it's all in the TLAs. TLAs stand for three-letter acronyms. Because HL7 uses TLAs for both the message type and the message segment ID, it can get a little confusing. You have to know which are message types and which ones compose segment IDs. There's no easy way to tell them apart. You have to memorize them and learn what each one does. Now you know a little about the message structure and how to identify the message types. In class, we'll work on identifying messages and what their segment IDs are, what composes the message. So I look forward to seeing you in class on Tuesday.